PCA 2018 looked like it would be the year of the amateur, but now only one qualifier remains. Here in the Bahamas, five accomplished pros stand in the way of Dan Koopel's dream of becoming a champion. At this point, I'm just hoping to move up a couple spots, but if I won it, wow, that would be uh, mind-blowing. Christian Rudolph is not on the sidelines anymore and wants to take full advantage of his time in the spotlight. Maria Lampropoulou is impressed since the early stages, her fearless style confounding the competition. Poker always gives me a lot of surprises. To win this tournament, it's crazy. German high roller Corey Aldemir and online legend Sean Buchanan both contested for the chip lead as the field thinned. But it's former EPT champ Adrian Mateos who leads the way, hoping to claim his second main event title. When I started playing poker, it's one of my dreams just to play the PCA. My plan today is just to win. With more than $1 million for the winner, this is the PCA 2018 final table. Welcome to the Bahamas and the last day of the PokerStars Caribbean Adventure 2018 from the Atlantis Resort and Casino on Paradise Island. The Imperial Ballroom plays host to the final table of the prestigious 10K main event. Hello everyone, I am James Hartigan. Alongside me, two formidable pros, Lex Veldhaus and Griffin Benger. Griffin, what has been the highlight of this tournament so far for you? What have you clung on to over the course of the last five days? Yeah, it's been amazing. I mean, as soon as I walked in here and saw the set, uh, I knew it was going to be something special. And, uh, you know, the coverage has been great. It's been a pleasure working with you guys, especially you, James. Oh, thank you very much, Griffin. Uh, we'll invite him back for sure. I <laughs> uh, should also obviously throw out thanks to the rest of the team as well. If you've missed our coverage, don't worry. I can bring you up to speed with the story so far from the PCA 2018 main event. 582 players took to their seats, all chasing the dream of PCA glory. Online qualifiers Charles Modesto and Mo the Destroyer Schwab entertained us early on, but ultimately fell short of making the money. Leaving Gledeby Brito leading the charge for the amateurs. Day three was bubble day, and Maria Lampropoulou bossed the feature table, amassing a big stack with her aggressive play. Nice bluff. Nikita Nalubian was the last player to leave with nothing, and the final 87 were in the money. Maria Konnikova, winner of the national championship, saw her quest for another title end on day four, with Gledeby Brito busting shortly after. Later, Liv Bury was eliminated by Lampropoulou, taking us down to the final 16. David Peters came into the penultimate day as commanding chip leader, and Adrian Mateos began as the shortest stack. But pot after pot went against Peters, and he eventually fell in 11th place. While Mateos soared, finding himself on top of the pile, and we got down to our final six. Exciting stuff, an exciting day here at Atlantis, and Joe Stapleton is tableside to introduce our main event finalists. Six players remain, let's meet them now. In seat one, coming to the final table, third in chips, Maria Lampropoulou. She has $1.7 million in live earnings. And Lex, we have been impressed with Maria ever since she was on our feature table during the bubble on day three. She does everything right when she's aggressive. She does it right when she's in a tough spot at the table, near the bubble, then she switches gears. It's every single situation, she's been impressive. In seat two, the online crusher, Sean Buchanan. He has won six spring championship of online poker titles. He has more than $6 million in live earnings. And in seat three, from Spain, Adrian Mateos. Coming in as chip leader. He had a fantastic day yesterday, Lex. A guy like Mateos is just going to do what he has to do. He's going to put the money out of his mind. Um, of course, he's going to make good ICM decisions, but if he's just like, I, I need to pressure her, he is going to pressure her, and that's what he did. 
In seat four is a Canadian farmer looking to grow some greens here in the Bahamas, Daniel Kupal. His previous biggest score was $43,000. He is guaranteed to win at least five times that amount today. Seat five is better known as sevens guy, Christian Rudolph. The Germans had some impressive online results. He's won the Sunday Million. He's won the Sunday Warm-Up. How do you think he'll fare today, Griffin? I would say, you know, the average player that you're playing on the final table of the Sunday Million and Sunday Warm-Up isn't going to be the likes of Adrian Mateos, Sean Buchanan, Maria Lampropoulos. He's going to have to force them all in, try to get the money in good, make some chips pretty early. And finally, in seat six, hailing from Germany, Corey Aldemir. He is a high roller reg with $7.7 .7 million in live earnings. He had the chip lead for most of the penultimate day. He comes into the final fourth in chips. Well, let's quickly discuss the table dynamic. Chip leader Adrian Mateos has position on the two other big stacks, Lampropoulou and Buchanan. He's also in a great spot to put the pressure on the short stacks, Daniel Kupel and Christian Rudolph. Well, my thanks to Griffin Benja and Lex Feldhaus. We'll get Joe in the booth in just a moment. We kick off the action with the blinds at 40,000, 80,000 with a 10,000 ante. And with action folded to Maria Lampropoulou under the gun plus one, pocket sixes, and she raises to 170K. Round to Christian Rudolph in the big blind. He has ace eight. For this entire tournament, Maria Lampropoulou has been more aggro than a bro who's run out of vape juice. Christian could go for this. Queen. He does. What? And it is a race situation. Christian Rudolph has the face of Phil Helmuth Jr. Let's hope he flips better. Maria Lampropoulou, the slight statistical favorite. Rudolph, the at-risk player. He needs to hit to survive. Well, he does hit top pair, but that's a set for Lampropoulou. Rudolph needs running cards. And it's over on the turn. The seven came, Rudolph went. Good game. First player out. A sixth place finish for Christian Rudolph. And that will see him cash out for $229,760. And Maria Lampropoulou has just taken the chip lead with a stack of nearly 5.4 million. So the next player out will earn just shy of 300K. Up top, more than a million dollars. Plus, the coveted platinum pass. Ooh, baby. Action on Dan Koopel. Let's it go. Corey Aldemir on the button. Passes. Maria Lampropoulou has queen three offsuit in the small blind. It's Sean Buchanan's big blind. She raises to 275,000. A seven for Bucky. He'll be more than happy to defend. He does call. He is way ahead of Maria's small blind raising range. The flop is seven, four, deuce. Top, top for Buchanan. Lampropoulou was the pre-flop aggressor, and it looks like she'll continue. A C-bet of 230,000. Top pair, top kicker against a player who's been more aggro than the giant fake rock from Guts. That's a call. More than a million in the pot now. The turn card is another seven. Buchanan improves to trips, and Lampropoulou is now drawing dead. She's not usually one to give up. She checks. Oh, maybe she is giving up. 375,000 from Buchanan. And properly with just queen high. She does take her time in her decisions. I would expect to fold here a lot. 
Okay. She does not fold. She calls, and this hand is going to the river. 1.8 million in the pot now. And Buchanan River's a full house. I'm perplexed. Our blue checks. Lucky will no doubt go for value. White chips he's counting out are worth 100k each. So that's a bet of 1.1 million. And is this not a trivial fold for Maria Lampropoli? Well, I know a lot of people out there are thinking, what is she thinking about? And there's actually kind of an argument for a call. I'm not going to die on that hill, but it's there. It's a polarizing bet, which means it's almost always a seven or nothing. And ace and king highs are nothing, but they're actually too good to bet the turn and river with. So when Sean is bluffing, queen high is going to be the best hand. Well, when we reference that Maria Lampropoulou does take her time over her decisions, Sean Buchanan feels she's had enough of it. A lot of times in these clock situations, players make an eventual fold. We have 30 seconds to act from them. She doesn't need the 30 seconds, she calls! She did it, she went for it. She flew a little too close to the sun and got burnt, but wow. Nothing. Sean Buchanan bets big on the river with a full house and gets paid off by Queen High. And now he's the chip leader. More like Sean Puke Canada, am I right? Now, I know this is going to sound crazy, but I'm not good enough to make that call. Are you? Here at the PokerStars Caribbean Adventure 2018, we've just witnessed a bizarre hand. Before the break, Maria Lampropoulou called a huge river bet from Sean Buchanan with just Queen High. She has played almost flawlessly all week. But you've got to wonder whether her meticulous thinking actually worked against her this time. I needed to think a lot because I thought that it, it was close. It's so important, the tournament. It's a lot of money in the middle. I hope perhaps some years later it will be so different because I will know what to do exactly in some situations that are similar. In final tables, sometimes it's better uh, when there is a uh, small stacks to wait a little. And... So that handle was terrible. <laughs> You know, I forgot about the payout ladder implication, so maybe it was a fold. Sean Buchanan is the current chip leader. Maria Lampropoulou sits in third place just behind Adrian Mateos. Blinds are still 40,000, 80,000. Maria is first to act here, and we're going to sweat with her on this hand, Joe. We will only see her whole cards, which are pocket tens. Wait, no, I haven't recovered from the queen high call yet. I would be no good to you, honest. Okay, all right. As if you had a choice. Clock! Just kidding, sort of. I think it's a raise. It is a raise. 170,000. Sorry, I meant to say we should raise. Sean Buchanan. Oh, not again. He flats in the cutoff. And with the blinds folding, these two will go heads up to the flop. Which is king high, one over card to Maria's tens. All right, we're continuation betting. 150,000. If he calls, I'm out. I'm out, Maria, fold now, next hand, next. Buchanan calls, we're going to the turn. Nope, we're folding. It's the eight of diamonds and the board gets flushier. 
Well, she does slow down, checking the action to Sean. I'll take it. Cheap showdown, please. I think he's going to bet. Yep, 425K. Once again, the buck does not stop here with polarization. And there aren't very many bluffs he can have at all. Next! Ah, oh, she took your advice. She folds. She's one. Okay. I, I, was, I am sure it is the ace of diamonds. Okay. I am sure. It's the six of spades. <laughs> oh, God. What's the other one? Ah! Oh. The other one took up. <laughs> Oh, Sean Buchanan, you're incorrigible. Got her twice now. Yeesh. Called off a value bet, got bluffed off the best hand. Blinds are up to 5,100. Action's on Corey Aldemir. These guys again, what are we going to see what's happening at the other table? Ace, eight under the gun. Faults. Lampropoulou is out. King Jack suited for Buchanan. And the chip leader raises to 200,000. Round to Daniel Kupel in the big blind, who has eight four of diamonds. Woof. He defends. Also kind of woof. Top pair for Buchanan on the flop. A couple of backdoor draws for Kupel. Playing in flow. Bucky continues for 125K. Why hasn't he folded yet? I'm all in. Wow! And snap called by Buchanan. Bad spot for me. Five minutes. Two. That's some fun Three times. That doesn't work. You know it's bad when you can't even figure out what your outs are. Get lucky. Really lucky. Get Bucky. Hey, one. Now he's got four outs. Get super lucky. Runner, <laughs> runner. Daniel Koopel needs an eight or a four on the river. No luck. Ah, nice hand. Good game, buddy. Nice. Uh... Good tournament. There you go. Daniel Koopel is out in fifth place. Awesome playing with you, man. Good yeah. job. What a sick run for the Canadian. I guess it's back to the farm now, eh? The last remaining qualifier cashes out for nearly 300 grand. Uh. And Sean Buchanan consolidates his chip lead after KOing Daniel Kupel. If I just keep folding and folding and getting chipped down, yeah, I have no shot. So sometimes you got to pick a spot and go with your gut. That time my gut was wrong. And uh, yeah. Good payday, though. I can't complain. Bucky's not complaining either. He now has more than 7 million chips. I love coming here. You know, I've had a lot of deep runs in the main. Yeah, it's one of my favorite stops. I've won uh, two PCA events here. One was a 10K turbo, no limit. It was so much fun. Everything was falling into place. There's no doubt in my mind I was going to win. It was just, it, it's just a different feeling you get and a different like sense. You're just like, all your senses are just firing on like all cylinders. And uh, this one so far feels the same. What even is a cylinder? To throw your own words back at you, read a book. <laughs> Action has been folded around to the blinds. Adrian Mateos in the small has six deuce of hearts. Raises to 265,000. Nine four of spades for Corey Aldemir. He calls. Great. Two weird hands in the blinds. Don't expect me to have anything coherent to say about this. The flop. Sees so Aldemir pair his nine. He is a 98% favorite. Mateos. It's not to continue. You got to do it. 460,000. Four sixty. With a million in the middle, two million behind, top pair. Aldemir could very easily shove.
We're at that point where every decision has real money implications. Hold on. He does decide to shove a quick fall from Mateos. And a very important pot for Corey Aldemir. Keeping his head above water, hovering around the three million mark. Adrian Mateos started the day as chip leader, but now has a below average stack. Adrian isn't alone, though. The only player at this table with a comfortable stack is Sean Buchanan. He's under the gun with 8-5 of diamonds and raises to 200k. Mateos with ace-king on the button. That is a re-raise, a three bet to 600,000. He's 10 for Corey Aldemir. So Aldemir's never calling here. He might sometimes jam, but with this dynamic and the payout structure, yeah. Good fold. Maria Lampropoulou folds as well. Action back on the original razor. People love taking a shot at a player who just lost a big pot. A call from the chip leader, and these two go heads up to the flop. Oh, spicy top pair for Mateos. Flush draw for Buchanan. Bucky checks. Bucky playing some real street poker here. Mateos counting out a continuation bet. 700,000. And I think Bucky's going to go for it. In a vacuum, I love it. In a spot where you're supposed to be protecting your chips so people can go broke before you, it's dicey. He does go for it. He check raises to 1.8 million. Putting Mateos in all-in or fold territory. And with top pair, top kicker, I don't think he's folding. I'm with you, James. All in. He shoves. I'm to make sure I had the amount right. 3.4. 3.5. Good luck. <laughs> Bucky's priced in and calls. <laughs> Array contra Fledro. Array contra Fledro. Buenos dias, James. This flip is worth a lot of money. Mateos is the favorite to double up here. But a diamond on the turn means he's done. Okay. I did not see that coming. I don't think he did either. Kid's a real good poker player. He is going to be crushed. He came into the day as chip leader. He exits in fourth place. Cashing for $372,600. No second main event title for the Spanish pro. And we're down to three. We are down to three players here at the final table of the PokerStars Caribbean Adventure 2018. Before we get back to the action, we're about to award two more platinum passes. The first draw involves every player who made the money in the main event. To announce the winner, Joe's down on the floor with tournament director Mike Ward. We're looking for Steven John Antoine Jost. Steven John Joss was one of our qualifiers. Won a seat in the main event for $27, cashed out for 17 and a half grand. So crazy. We're now at the wild card draw. That is the one, let's take a look. Involving pretty much everyone who played at this year's PCA. And the lucky winner of the wild card platinum pass worth $30,000 is David Peters. Our 11th place finisher in the main event. Some consolation for his horrific day yesterday. Hopefully we'll catch up with David a bit later on. Congratulations to him and Stephen John Jost. Now, back to the action at the PCA final table. Blinds are 60,000, 120,000 with a 20,000 ante. Action has been folded to Sean Buchanan in the small blind with a seven. Oh, he completes. Corraldemir has pocket threes in the big blind. He's raising. 
Yeah, 375,000. Not sure I love a raise. When Sean limps in the small blind, he's almost always going to call. And then you're making the pot bigger when you're only ever really going to be flipping at best. Well, there's the call from the chip leader. The flop is ace, king, eight. Top pair for Buchanan. Checks to Aldemir. Not good news for Aldemir. I think he's going to feel compelled to continue. 270. Yep, fires 270,000. Buchanan calls. The turn card is the Jack of Clubs. This board just getting worse and worse for Aldemir. Lucky checks a second time. Oh man, is Aldemir really going to blast off here with threes? Loading up a second barrel. Just over a million. I'm going to go ahead and call this the Kanye West because it's aggressive and unnecessary. We can see that Buchanan is a 95% favorite. He makes the call. Three and a half million in the middle. Aldemir has 3.9 behind. The river card is the seven of hearts. That's two pair for Bucky. There goes any chance of Bucky folding. He checks a third time. Is Aldemir going to wave the white flag of surrender? He's got to know his threes are no good here at showdown. On him. Wow, he shoves a huge bluff. And Sean doesn't like it. Which is it? Uh, he's actually given this a think. Sean's beating King Jack. He's beating Ace Queen, Ace 10. Lots of draws missed. I said Sean was never folding, but I guess it's obviously not never. Just did not expect this at all when he improved on the river. Well, however this plays out, you've got to give respect to Corey Aldemir for having the guts to make this move. This is going to hurt if I'm wrong, Corey. <laughs> you look nervous as <laughs> too. <laughs> he does. He folds the best hand. Oh, M goodness. Be a hero, that's it. <laughs> See the 10 jack. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh. The Germans are loving it. Of course, whoever takes down this tournament will win a platinum pass, free entry to the first ever Players' Championship. It's the ticket every poker player wants to get their hands on. Still cannot believe it. 25k buy-in. I would never spend such a lot of money for playing just poker. It's absolutely fantastic. Oh yeah, this is super lucky. <laughs> it takes the sting away from bubbling the pound table a little bit, so that's nice. That's gonna be an amazing experience for so many people. And you could win your seat by playing live or online. Find out more at PokerStars. So Aldemir and Buchanan are back at it. They've gone heads up to the flop. It's second pair against a gut shot straight draw. Checked by Buchanan. Looks like Corey is going to C bet in position. Four hundred and seventy-five thousand.
Cannon calls with the best hand. The turn card is another ace. Bucky is now an 86% favorite. He checks a second time. For Aldemir, King High is a little too good of a hand to bluff with. Too bad to bet for value. He checks behind. The river is an eight. The board bricks out for Corey. Action on Sean. Corey really hoping for a free showdown. He's not going to get it. 775,000. And King High is a hand that will be good sometimes, but when Sean check calls on the ace jack clubs board, he's not going to have a lot of bluffs in his range here in the river. Aldemir lets it go. Good vault. Sean Buchanan, still chip leader with a stack of 8.7 million. Three-handed action continues at the PCA 2018 main event final table. Hold it to Aldemir in the small blind. Queen 10 of hearts. And Maria's only got like 13 big blinds. Oh, no. Yeah, he puts the pressure on. He shoves on Lampropolo. What's she got? A king. King eight. It's not pretty, but I think with this dynamic and her stack, it's a call. It's close, though. Left my graphing calculator at home. She calls all in. She has the best hand, but it's practically a flip. PM Queen Ooh. 10, King König 8. Okay. Oh. I've heard the German rails are often on time. Crucially, Maria Lampropoulou's tournament life is on the line here. The flop is eight high, but it doesn't really change the situation. Aldemir still needs a queen or a 10 to eliminate Lampropoulou. But she's only got two cards to fade now. She successfully fades the turn. Just has to dodge that queen or 10 on the river. She doubles up. Someone's happy. That guy is my spirit animal. Aldemir is now the short stack at the table. Cannon has more than 8 million. Maria on 5.5 million. Aldemir with 3.5 million. But the blinds are really big right now. The stacks are super shallow. 125, 250 with a 25k ante. There's going to be a little bit of luck involved at this point. King, seven of hearts for Aldemir on the button. Alden. He goes for it. What is it? 3.5. Round two, Buchanan, who's got ace eight of clubs. The chip leader calls. Corey Aldemir is at risk and behind. He needs a king or a seven. Seven! 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 seven. <laughs> nice callback. The flop. Has an eight on it. <laughs> nice flip flop. Takes away three of Aldemir's outs. The turn card is another eight. It's over. Corey Aldemir out in third. Oh, that's the king. <laughs> All right. Good. Good luck. Yeah, you. Has a lot of fun. <laughs> Aldemir out of here. And how hot is Sean Buchanan running? Aldemir cashes for 481,560 euros. And we are heads up at the final table of the PCA main event. Sean Buchanan versus Maria Lampropoulou.
We are heads up for the main event title at the PokerStars Caribbean Adventure 2018. Both Maria Lampropoulou and Sean Buchanan have been in this situation before and know what's at stake. The trophy is so close. I will try to do my best to try all to be perfect. I like to sit down and get a lot of deep breaths and just kind of focus. You just got to get present and in the zone and just ready to go. Sean is a great player. He's been playing many, many years. He has a lot of experience. I know she's dangerous, but you know, every day is different and every situation is different, so we're going to see what happens. It's so important, this tournament. It's a huge tournament. I would like to win, obviously. 580 players have been KO'd so far. One more elimination and we will crown our champion. All right, you two. Let's do this. Handshake or hug? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> that was a happy, friendly start to the heads up. Now it's time to get your game faces on. Yeah. And your hood and or leather jacket. I finally put on pants. Sean Buchanan has a huge chip advantage, close to 14 million, 3.5 million for Maria Lampropoulou. Blinds are still 125K, 250K. Maria with ace eight on the button in the small blind. It's a pretty good start to heads up. Of course, we should wait and see what Sean has. She completes. Sean has pocket fours. Well, that's a pretty good start to heads up, too. Hold on. He shoves on Maria. Are we going to flip for this whole tournament right now? Well, considering she only started the hand with 14 big blinds, it's not inconceivable. In a word, yes. Good. There's the call. Let's flip the coin. And if fours hold, Sean Buchanan wins the PCA main event. This is essentially a $400,000 coin flip. The flop has an eight on it. Oh. Eight is enough. Maria takes the lead in this race. She's being railed by both Ivan Luka and Mustafa Kanet. Two outs for Buchanan. The deuce on the turn. Bucky still needs a four. Any other card on the river, and Maria Lampropoulou doubles up. It's an ace. The eight was enough, but she got the ace anyway. So Maria Lampropoulou survives. And now it's a bit more even. Sean still has the advantage, but it's 10 million versus 7 million. One more double up for her, and he is back where she was. He's got 9-5. That's a call. Some folks won't limp with a hand that week. Sean did. Don't think it's a huge deal. Four deuce for Maria. She checks. Ah, oh, Buchanan flops two pair. And if he had raised pre-flop, when she folds here on the flop, it would have been a slightly bigger pot. Propolu has checked the action to Buchanan, and he will bet 250K. And with four high, she will fold. Heads up's weird. You're weird. True. Bucky's still with the advantage. And Propolu first to act here. Ace 10. Back to seeing that old Maria Lampropoulou in the tank that we're used to. It's a raise to 550,000. Pocket nine to Buchanan. Oh man, what is happening? One point two. He re-raises. How will Lampropoulou respond? She shoves. 
Oh. Here we go again! Good luck. Oh my god, it's a flip. It's a flip! <laughs> Another flip. And once again, Sean has the slight advantage and is on the brink of victory. No, somos a diez. Sí, él sí. Él, somos a diez. Nine, yeah. Él para de nueve. The flop is ace high. She binks the flop again. Sean suddenly running really bad in races. A queen on the turn, and Sean Buchanan needs a nine on the river. Or Maria Lampropoulou doubles up again. This time she'll take the chip lead. She does. That has changed everything. Uh, Maria Lampropoulou is now massive chip leader with more than 15 million. Sean Buchanan on the ropes with 2.4 million. Fewer than 10 big blinds. He is in big trouble. King five on the button. He limps. Maria Lampropoulou with 10, seven of clubs. She shoves on Sean. Probably hoping for a fold, but when she does get looked up, she's gonna be a dog. He throws in a single chip, that's a call. On their backs. One more very flippy situation. 17 sweeps. 17 sweeps. Once again, Sean Buchanan has the slight advantage, but this time he is the at-risk player. Let me win this one. <laughs> no, please. I won. <laughs> she won million. <laughs> More fun to keep playing. It was enough fun. <laughs> The flop is 10 high. Looking real good for the fun to come to an end. Maria is a four to one favorite to win the PCA. Deuce on the turn. Sean has five outs. Unless there is a king or a five on the river, we have a winner. The river card. Is a nine, Maria Lampropoulou is the PCA champion. <laughs> Good game. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, <great. laughs> Good job. She played incredibly well the entire length of this tournament. The main event trophy, one million dollars, and the platinum pass are all hers. Sean Buchanan, the runner-up, for nearly 673k. <laughs> Maria Lampropoulou was on our radar from the very early stages of the main event, from her day two skirmishes with Maurice Hawkins to her aggressive bubble play, down to the final table and beyond. An incredible comeback heads up to secure her place in PCA history. Maria, you just won a platinum pass a million dollars, and you were the first ever female PCA champion. How do you feel? Well, I feel very, very happy. Uh, I know that it's incredible. It's my second main event, so big. And I think that nobody can believe this, neither me. And I enjoyed to play poker. I don't know, I wanted to improve, but um, I never imagined this. Never, never, my God. it's incredible. Let's get a big round of applause for our PCA 2018 main event champion, Maria Lampropoulou.